What's Gucci everyone? In this video, continuing our Make a Gem series, we are going to be one, at, um, going over testing again, and two, releasing our gem initially on the Ruby Gem site. And then we'll kind of be almost done. The next videos will just kind of be a little cleanup and extra things we can do. But first of all, we are going to make sure we have things. I am going to start up Vim. You can start up any text editor, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my spec helper file, which is in the my, which should be in the spec folder. And I just want to make sure you guys have this line right here, the require first gem. I will highlight it two ways. And with that, I also with that I also want to you guys to make sure that you have that gem and. I'm just needlessly talking, but you need that to be able to reference the code. So with, without further ado, I'm going to go to the hello.rb file we created a, a while back, and we're going to write a function. We're going to write a pow function, and it's going to take a and b, and I'm going to get rid of hello because it's a little hard to test um, output from puts. That would be what the standard out outputs. But in this video, instead, we're just going to make a video that returns the power, which in Ruby you can do with two power signs. So we're going to do a dot dot b. Now we're going to go over to the test class that I made. Okay, here we are at test spec, and we have hello, hello dot new. And I'm going to simply go over here and make hello, hello dot pow. And with hello dot pow, I am going to, actually I need to give it two parameters, I am going to simply test it by giving it the expect syntax, so I'm going to give it expect at hello dot pal, and we're going to give it a few parameters, so we'll give it three comma two, which is three squared, dot two equal nine. So I'm going to say, okay, that should equal nine. And so then I'm going to go back in my, in my first gem folder, and I'm going to call, not rake, sorry, I'm going to call rspec. And we're going to see if that test passes. And woohoo, that test passed. We're going good. Okay, so that is our initial test. Boom, bada boom, everything looks pretty darn good. Okay, but something we also can do now is we can test that gem. So, or we can push that gem to our folder. So what I can do is I can do rake build. And what this will do is it will try to build our gem. But see, we got a warning and an error that while ex executing the gem, to do is not a description. So what we have to do here is we have to go into the gem spec. It said to do is not an option. And what it's talking about right here is this summary and description. So if I, de if I delete, we'll make another summary. I'll call it, um, you don't have to put in quotes. That's what the W, the percent Q does for you. Description, I'm just gonna call it um, first gem. And I forgot to end it with a lightning with a um, brace. And then we're going to do the same thing with the description. And we're going to call the description. This gives you the power of a number. Because, hey, that's what it does. So now I'm going to quit. And now we're going to try to set the same command. So we're going to try rake build so this hopefully builds our gem and what it will do is it will make a pkg file and it will say and it will make um first gem and then the version that we have in your version file inside open up another tab there guys I'm sorry inside your version module which is automatically created for you so if I change this version then my gem created would be different as well but if I cd into p packaging, which is the file I made, and then I do la, um, if I rake release and change, if I change the version name and rake release, my I'll get a different gem file name. So this is the gem file. So that is pretty cool. So now we've created this gem file, but it's only on our computer. How do we release it? Well, we can call rake release, and we can see if there are files. We can see if our file commits, but there will be a few things first you need to do. The first thing is that you need to make sure all your files are committed. Now, why can't it just take all the files from your repository? Well, RubyGems uses your GitHub or your remote repository or what's committed, not your remote repository, but what's committed to upload it to rubygems.com, which is where it's going. And the way it does that is it looks at 
the gem spec. And it looks at the gem spec by calling this name, spec.files, and it calls git ls files. So it basically what that gives you is all the files under GitHub. And if we have unmodified files, which we're going to commit to GitHub, um, and I'm going to say releasing gem, and I'm going to git push that, which GP stands for git push. I have so many shortcuts, I forget to show you guys them. And so now we're going to call rake release. And so now hopefully it works or we'll see if there's another gem called first gem on rubygems.com. So it says you do. So now I'm getting another error that says you do not have permission to use this gem. Okay, guys, I figured out the problem. I hadn't tried releasing this to the Ruby gem store yet, but the problem is this gem already exists on Ruby gems. If I search for it, it's called Ruby Gems. It's right there. So what do we do to change this? We go in to our gem spec and that we have to change the name. So what do we can do? We can let's try changing it to first gem. And then I'll give my name and then I'll name it RB. Okay. And like last time we have to commit it. So get commit changed gem name and don't worry about changing it anywhere else. That should be okay. And let's do another rake build. Because now the name changed and we'll do a rake release. And hopefully this works. And so now it pushed this gem. Let's go, let's go on rubygems.com right here. And let's copy this in. And did it show up? And it did. First gem, AJRB, and I pushed it January 22nd, the same day it is right now. And there's my name. And it may ask you to sign into Ruby Gems if you have not created an account. I suggest creating an account. It's very easy. You just do the same thing, like you have to create a million accounts or anything. And so it simply says authors, AJ Gucci. And so, boom. There's our tutorial, and it has the versions we released, and we decide to change the version. And simply, whenever you want to make a new version, you change the. Whenever you do updates, you may want to change the version, and then build it and release it again. And that's basically it. That's all you need to know for this tutorial, guys. Have a great day, and you just released your first Ruby gem. Anyone can download it now. Anyone can do gem install first jm.rb. In fact, let's do it right now. Let's do gem install the gem you just made, and we'll end this tutorial there. And boom, you successfully installed it. So now you can require you can require first gem RB and we'll see it. But there's really not a lot of functionality with this. So we'll make sure I'll show you the functionality in the next video and some we can add on.